Once you get the treasure map piece, the game will take you to the uh, hidden level where the uh, lost treasure of McDuck is. At least that's what happened to me because I did the Egypt stage last. But if you did it first or second, it wouldn't take you there, so let me show you how to complete the stage. Simply go back right. There's something written on this wall. Let's see. What's that supposed to be? part of the uh, thing that says, what's that supposed to mean? I wonder if that's uh, Huey just adding that to the hieroglyphics, or if that's actually written on the wall. Alright, I'm just picking up the x-ray glasses, because as I said, I'm restarting the level after I got the final treasure map piece. Level me. The game forced me to go to a new level, so now I'm restarting it. That's why all the treasure, such as the X-ray goggles, has reappeared. area I did not show you was over here. Let me just get to it. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of backtracking to get there. Now see here, the first time I went in this area, I went to the left and fell down the hole to the floor. This is what happens when you go right. To jump to get through that area to reach these uh, treasure boxes. This is an interesting idea. Oh, I can't jump on top of them? That's the little area that I did not show you the first time around, the one that I did all that backtracking for. Now let's continue the level. I believe there's nothing much left except the box fight. Let's try to get there as quickly as possible. False floor. Aha! So climb up this rope here. nothing in here at all except for that enemy, but it uh, flushes out the level and makes sure that it's entirely pyramid shaped, which I think is why they kept it there. That's the treasure box, which tells you how much treasure is left in the stage. I believe I've collected it all. 
out of the treasure I got during the uh, first playthrough of the stage, and the treasure I got here during the second playthrough, and it equals all the treasure. I don't know about you, but I thought that boss was extremely easy compared to the NES version. In the NES version, it was timed so that those beams of light if you were at you would be thrown right when you were at the bottom of your turbo jump. But because the screen is smaller for the Game Boy version, the timing is off so you can easily pogo jump without fear of getting hurt. 